All right. It's 2020 Mustang GT. I suggest if you have one that has a blown dash pad to just sell it. All these have to be unhooked. Everything has to be unhooked right here. So you can have a, a bolt here holding it. You have a bolt here. A bolt here. These are the ones that slide. So they'll slide where they're supposed to go. This right here. This is what it rests on. So it'll go in. It'll, it'll slide in. And it'll go down the little spot right there. <laughs> right here. In the center stops going back to right here all this has to be unhooked and then you got one spot here and one spot right uh, I think it's actually sitting underneath this there's two spots that have two little clips holding the wire you have to get that to remove your steering column, there's a T40 bolt that goes there. You gotta undo that one, which is that. And then there's four bolts right there. Two up high, two down low. And then they will, that's all that's holding it on. So once you undo all those, you can pull it right out. Same thing on this side, there and there. You have a bolt right there, a bolt down there, See that comes through? It's the firewall. Opposite side, if you still have windshield in, which I do, it's already been replaced. <laughs> Those could be a pain in the butt. I used extensions with the impact. We'll put the one on the right. So on the outside, be on your left. The one on the right, I had to use extensions with a swivel to be able to get to it. And once I got it so far, I had to unscrew it with my fingers. When you put those back in, make sure you put some type of um, sealant around it because those come directly to the inside. You don't want water dripping down and pass all that because there is a vent spot up top. <laughs> so once you unhook all that, you got to unhook that. Going up to your airbags, that's going to have to be unhooked. Both sides. And... If you don't do that, you're not going to get this thing off at all. There's a plug that goes right down there. All right. Here, you have to undo that. The big bolts right here, this top one. It's kind of very hard to get to. It is a 25 millimeter. It's rounded off. They don't really want you to be able to take them out and mess with them, but... Yeah, it yeah. happens. Down there, that plug you can see. That's the one that you gotta unplug on this side to get everything off. To get your hood release off, I used a 10 millimeter deep well socket. Where there's two little clips on it, as you can see right there. Two little ears. Stick it right in there. Push it in and wiggle it, pops right off. So now that's off. And to get <laughs> this top piece off right here, it covers all this up. Start back here, as you can see, those scrape marks, boom, boom. Start popping it up all the way down through there. And it'll pop up this here. I just undone it. It pops in, as you can see. And nothing else on it just pops. I didn't take this all the way off. There's really no need to. And as you can see, everyone else is taking seats out. Oh, no. Yeah. But you don't really need to. Would it probably make it easier? Yeah. But you don't need that. So when I go to put it back together, I'll let you know. It's not too bad. Oh, and as well as, um, so down here, when you're taking it apart, there's going to be some, a few couple screws well actually they're bolts you gotta undo <clears throat> um, 
I might have taken out a couple extra bolts. Yeah, see this here. Probably didn't, I didn't need to undo that. I done it there and there. I didn't need to, but again, this is the first time I've ever done this. You have to unload all of this, which really sucks when you're unhooking this stuff, trying to hook it back together. But as of now, yeah. Well. All these wires gotta be put over all to this. So we're gonna start right here and work our way across and have to hook all this shit up to the other one. The reason all this is being done, this one has a blown dash bag, this one does not. So suggest you to possibly Take pictures of everything that you're doing. All this has to be unhooked. Some of the clips are tricky, some of them aren't. <laughs> These are the pieces I was talking about. It's kind of hard to get to. Um, and it's actually this one right here. Kind of tight to get to. This is this and a bracket on the opposite side. And you take this part. This goes to the, this covers up the um, steering column on top. This is, um, this just got a couple little clips in it, screws and stuff. Pops out. Bring it apart. <sighs> Speedometer's still in this one. Gotta remove it, put it in the other one as well. But once you do all that, we'll be back to mint condition. Take some more pictures and videos of it. For now, we're going to pause it.